There's something exquisitely contradictory about the mountains. They can be brutal and unforgiving environments. So cold, so remote, yet so beautiful. So vast, so breathtaking, and so tranquil. We're not supposed to be here like this, certainly not at lunch. It's an environment so alien to everyday banalities. Nature has been tamed to provide us with a dazzling and alluring playground for recreation and indulgence at the top of the world. In this most recent body of work, I aim to create paintings that portray the moments that have evoked senses of tranquility and fulfillment in the mountains. Ultimately, the painted locations and scenarios are places where we have loved, laughed and made our own memories. These paintings are a portal to those places. The human form is absent, but they're full of humanity. We will return to experience these unique sensations, and when we can't, we can look at these paintings and be transported. It's not important where they are, but the remembered feeling they induce. The paintings act like stage sets, ones where the action is about to happen or has just taken place. The lack of the figure allows the viewer to enter the scene and import their memories. Chairs rest in trampled snow, as though in conversation, contemplating the impossible beauty of the location. They are waiting to embrace new visitors, and they invite us to join. There are also moments of anticipation occurring when marvelling at the almost willfully constructed, chaotic sculptural collection of skis and poles outside a mountain restaurant. Some lean precariously, some stand to attention, others discarded on the floor. A riot of colour in an otherwise blinding white environment. Skis click and clack, adding noise to this organically enlarging mass of humanity. Like a writhing animal, it emerges at lunch and gradually recedes into the afternoon. In my paintings, these forever changing sculptures are caught in a moment.